Good afternoon. Just do want to do a video on how easy it is to set up a 115 volt 5000 BTU window air conditioner so you could use it in your pop up trailer or motorhome. This is really beat up, it's old, but it still works, so I'm going to use it for the purpose. But it's a 5000 BTU 115 volt air conditioner, and then that's one component. The other one is our deep cycle marine battery that we have here 12 volt and then we have a um, auto sensing 12 or 24 volt um, you can see right up there and 12 or 24 volt charge controller and it charges 50 amps up to 50 amps and then we have a 60 amp uh, resettable fuse on this thing and we have a 2000 watt modified sine wave inverter we got from Harbor Freight and it surges to 4000 watts. And then we have two 330 watt mono solar panels that we have wired in parallel. So we have the negative, we have the negative coming from this negative from this solar panel and the negative from this solar panel paired together on here in this branch circuit and it comes into just one outlet to go into our negative to go to our charge controller and then we have the positive from both solar panels coming in here it makes one in this branch circuit and we have the red going in to the Red goes into the positive of the charge controller, and the white goes into the negative of the charge controller for the PV. Then we have the battery connection. Right here is the battery. We got the negative, which is this black wire right here, and that goes over to the battery. And then we have the positive right there for the battery. That goes into a 60 amp fuse, comes out of the 60 amp fuse, and goes into our battery. Then we have two aught cables that are three feet long that go from our negative to our inverter of the battery, negative on the battery, negative into the inverter, positive on the battery to the positive in the inverter. And this has three plugs on it. You can plug in up to three things right there and it's got a USB on it. So it's got an on off switch as well. And there's the setting or the, for each one of these lights over here, they'll be green all the way up to the top and then it'll go yellow or red. Um, those are 200 watts each. So you got 10 of these lights on there. So right now we have this connected and there's no load on it. The air conditioner's off and we're at 14.3 volts that we're charging the battery 27.1 amps coming in and we have 328 or I'm sorry 32.8 volts uh, on the solar panels coming in 393 watts now let's turn this thing on right now let's see it's about 90 95 degrees outside and if we look that cement is 133 degrees so it's hot out <laughs> so Let's turn this thing on, turn it on high, and oops, turn the thing on. Let me see if I can get this to surge for you. Turn it off, and there we go. So that'll surge, that's why you need a 2000 watt inverter at least. Um, and then it'll stay like that and drops down. Each light is 200 watts. So it's hanging around four, 450, 500 watts. So if we go and look on here, after we turn that on high, we're actually pulling 530 watts out of our solar panels. And those are two 330 watt solar panels in parallel. Now they're 29 watt, or 29 volts, DC volts coming in to this charge controller. And it is, charging at 0 0.7, 0 0.9, it's going up. It's charging the battery, there we go. We're at 38 and a half amps that we're charging while we're running this load to keep the load running and to keep the battery 
at 13.6 volts. So we're, in order to be at, now we're at dropping up and down as it uh, senses it. Now this doesn't have a fan or anything on this at all uh, for this charge controller. It's um, static, it has these fins back here that dissipate the heat. So, see this kind of goes up and down, up and down. We're at 14.2, then it drops down to 12. So it, it'll just keep this thing going back and forth. That charge controller regulates what comes in from those solar panels. So it's constantly bopping up and down. Um, they're, they're okay to use. I used them for like a year and a half. That's how I started out with this air conditioner, that battery, the uh, charge controller, and then inverter from Harbor Freight. And um, I had 250 watt panels when I first started like three and a half years ago. And I wanted to see if I could actually run an air conditioner. And I was able to run an air conditioner off of this. But it's pretty easy. This is um, eight gauge PV wire solar panel wire I believe these are 8 gauge as well for these branch connectors and this is all 8 gauge on there um, this is it actually says on there it's 10 AWG um, wire on there so those are thick enough to handle that load and I got those at Harbor Freight those are 3 foot pieces and they actually came with the ring terminals on both ends. So I didn't have to do any the other ones. I had to make crimp ring terminals onto those. But the uh, air conditioner will run all day long as long as you have sun, full sun on those solar panels. And, uh, you know, if you were in the morning... You only need to take two solar panels with you and you can connect this up real quick. You can mount all this stuff into your motorhome or um, pop-up camper or camper, whatever. Um, if I were to use one of these, I would put it in the window once I get to the camping spot and then, you know, have a piece cut out to seal up the rest of the window with insulation. And then I would um, take that out when I'm traveling because I have a motorhome wouldn't want to leave that in there um but and i could put those solar panels inside the motorhome while we're traveling strap them down so there's no sun on them um i could build a thing and put it on the back of the bumper where they're facing in and there's no sun on them you never want to have sun on solar panels when they're not in use but uh because they will actually still keep producing power <laughs> that's why you don't want to have um light on them sunlight so pretty easy to do this is actually been running for a few minutes and if we look we have 52 degree air coming out 43 so we actually have 43 degree air out it's about 95 degrees outside and that cement temperature is 124 right now. <laughs> A little warm to be walking barefoot. That is how you connect solar panels to run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. You could do this for like a, a room on your house or something like that, but you can't have the battery in this stuff. I wouldn't put that in the rooms. These. Um, marine batteries will let off gas while they're charging so you can't have that in an enclosed space it'll end up causing a lot of problems if not a fire and those fumes are not good for you to breathe so um if you had a uh agm battery like this where they're sealed you could mount those things upside down sideways whatever those don't let off gas um i still wouldn't put it in my room <laughs> I would have I would have it in a room 
that is um, sheltered from the weather, um, but uh, or in a garage or something, and then you would have to run the um, cord. You'd have to run a uh, receptacle or something to it um, from this to there, so you could plug it in. But uh, if it's in a camp or something, I would put my batteries in a storage compartment, storage compartment, storage compartment. Um, this thing's going to put off some hot air, but it's it's still not going to be that bad. It's only at 400 watts on that, so it's not going to put off that much. It's got a fan on it to cool it off. But um, I might, um, if I had it in a storage container and I was running the AC, I might have that... Uh, door on the storage compartment on my uh, motorhome popped open so it gets some fresh air. There's actually two doors on it and I would probably have it where it can get ventilation through ventilation on that. So, but that's one way I could do it. The other way is to put one of these mini splits, put one of those head units inside which those are kind of big. They're like 40... 42 or 44 inches long and you got to have like eight inches from the top to pull in the air and then this thing should be you know well eight inches below the ceiling in the motor home and then that would blow the air because cool air rises hot air drops now the benefit of using one of these is these can heat the motor home as well in the winter time cool in the summer heat in the winter um, and then I would have to, um, if I used one of those, I would have to mount, uh, the outside unit right here to the bumper. I'd have to put a plate on the bumper, weld it, bolt it, and really make sure it's secure so that that and the refrigerant lines are tied down really well. So they don't move at all when you're driving. Because if you have uh, the refrigerant line shaking on that thing or the um, outside condenser unit shaking, it's going to loosen those lines up and you're going to lose your refrigerant. So this thing I take and I put it on the floor when I'm traveling and then I just put it in the window. I'll make something for the window so it when the window's open to put this in and I can put a brace on it to support it from the outside take me like two minutes to put it together and then I could take and make a piece of wood that would hold the window shut so nobody can pull the window open to get in so um, but this is a lot easier quicker to do but I'm gonna do both ways I'm gonna put a window AC in and this should easily cool off that motor home that's 23 feet because it's probably only like 17 or 18 actual feet by 8 feet and we're at uh, 47 degrees so and that's with the hot and everything so and the, the hot air blowing out of this thing which would be vented outside is only 105 degrees it's not that bad there you have it, DIY solar powered uh, window air conditioner. And it's only using around 500 watts. And it's running that load and keeping my battery at 13.2, 13.4. So we're, and keeps bouncing around, the amps keep bouncing around. Uh, we're at 35 volts on the uh, panels coming in, and we're right around 530 uh, watts coming in off those panels. And hanging at 13.2, 13.3 volts, charging at 40 amps right now. Now, these things will go up and down, up and down, up and down. As where, if you had like a 24-volt inverter or something like this, when you look at the voltage on these things of what's coming in, um, 
Oops, that's the amps. See, it keeps it very stable. 169, it's just staying there. Very, very stable on the volts. And the volts is the one in the middle. So 169, 170. So really stable compared to that. But this has, this has fans in them. Up there, there's a fan there and a fan there. And that's how it pulls it off. It draws the air in here and pulls it, or it draws it in up there. And, uh, and I think it's, I think it's drawing the air in here and it's blowing it out there. So the uh, charge control over here doesn't have a fan. It's just got those fins on it to um, cool that thing off from the heat and. It, uh, like I said, I use these for years and they just bounced around all the time, but they'll keep this, they'll keep this air conditioner running all day long for you. Um, I used to have this in a shed and, uh, and actually kept that shed nice and cold. Now that's running at full tilt. If we were to turn this down to whatever, to get it to cycle off get it to turn off here there we go it's um so it's running it's running just the fan on that right now and it's going up to 14.2 14.3 bounced up there so that like i said this charge controller it's called a static charge controller and it doesn't have a fan or anything on it, it just dissipates that heat and you can see the voltage go up and down, up and down. It's not quite as stable, but it does the job. So um, we uh, have the fan running on this, turn this back on and didn't even surge over on the, uh, the lights over there. Didn't even really surge at all when I turned it back on and it's blowing cold there. If you uh, had an idea that could you run solar off of just a couple of solar panels, I'm showing you how to do it. It's really easy. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. And maybe one day we'll do that uh, mini split heat pump on the motorhome.